Good morning and thank you for watching my channel. I wanted to share my beauty area with you this morning. Before we get started, I do want to say that a majority of the makeup that I have, I purchased on my own. Some of the makeup was given to me as gifts by family and friends, but majority of it I did purchase. Um, I do love to collect makeup. I am aware that this is a large amount of makeup and probably I'm um, considered a little bit too much for one person but this is just what I like to collect um, I'm not trying to brag in any way hoping that the information that I share can be helpful to others as it is helpful to me so we'll go ahead and get started I do not have a beauty room I have a beauty area that I have made in the corner of my dining room I purchased this little stand right here from Dee Dee's Discounts. I think it was about $20. I have my brushes at the top. And I tried to separate them according to eye brushes, face, face, facial brushes, but then I started to accumulate a little bit more. So this section is majority real technique brushes. I do have some Morphe brushes, some BH Cosmetics, some Japanese brushes and some brushes from Miss A. So I do have a variety of brushes. The second shelf just has a flower, some brush cleaner, my sponges, and then towards the bottom I have some wipes and napkins. I have some shelves um, where I just have some whatnots on them. That B was purchased from Amazon. This sign I think I purchased from TJ Maxx. And then this one was purchased by Amazon as well. The flowers, the wallflowers were purchased from Amazon. Those two pictures were purchased from Burlington as well as the glam room. This picture was a gift to me, but I think it was purchased from Burlington as well. The butterflies I purchased from Amazon. This Paris sign and the queen sign was purchased from Dee Dee's Discount. And these additional shelves over here, I purchased from Family Dollar. The ones over here were purchased from Dollar Tree. So I do have some acrylic organizers. Um, most of them are the brand Bino, B-I-N-O. And those were purchased from either Amazon or TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This stand was purchased from Walmart. The desk itself was purchased from Amazon as well as my mirror. So this container houses my um, eyeshadows. I'm sorry, <laughs> eyelashes. And I do have some facial sprays, setting sprays at the top. This is my lipstick organizer. This one is mainly eyes. So the bottom portion contains mostly concealers. I have some glitters and pigments. And then the bite-sized palettes I have stored here. And then I have some mascara and some brow gel. Have some BH Cosmetic brushes there. And then this lipstick um, is actually a purse. I purchased it from Amazon and I just took the chain off and put it on the inside. I have some storage boxes up top. Um, the flowered ones were purchased from TJ Maxx. The gold one is just a Dolce & Gabbana box that perfume came in. Um, the dream sign was purchased from Amazon and so was the box and the brushes here. The palettes next to that are from Revolution. And then I have some miscellaneous palettes in this um, letter holder here. This sign was purchased from Dollar Tree. I have another lipstick organizer that was purchased from Dee Dee's. Um, this blush holder or compact holder was purchased from Amazon as well. The candle, I think I purchased from Dollar Tree. I have my Juvia's Place or some of my Juvia's Place collection palettes here. This brush holder um, and this is a letter holder as well. It's just bedazzled i guess is the word um i purchased those brushes from amazon and then the um cup holder and the letter holder were purchased from marshall's 
these two storage bins right here were purchased from TJ Maxx. They are from the brand Bino as well. I have two um, stands. I made them into stands, but those were purchased from um, the Dollar Tree. And I just positioned those underneath my mirror so that it will sit up to the appropriate height. In this container, I have um, blushes towards the bottom, face palettes. Um, bronzers and highlights and then I have some miscellaneous products at the top this picture right here was purchased from Burlington as well on the shelves over here I have some perfumes and perfume boxes I have a set of brushes that are gold and I purchased those from Amazon the picture frame was purchased from Dollar Tree and the notebook as well as the fingernail polish those are just some miscellaneous items at the top this container um, holds my some additional palettes that i have and then i have some palettes up here now this storage container or this organizer was purchased from ross this top one and then the bottom one is the brand bino Inside of the storage drawers that I purchased from Walmart, um, the first drawer contains primers and some facial sprays. And I actually have to replace this because the organizers on top are too heavy. So it sometimes it's hard for me to open this drawer. So I am saving up to purchase a better storage unit for this area and for these items. So again, the first drawer just contains some primers and some facial sprays. The second drawer has some setting powders. I have some additional bronzers, some concealers in here. The third drawer houses my foundations and concealers. Um, the concealers that I use a lot, which is the Too Faced Born This Way concealers, I just leave them in this drawer so they're easy, um, reachable when I'm ready to use them. The fourth drawer just houses some brush cleaners and some miscellaneous items, my um, fan and my mirror. And then this last drawer I am currently using for backups and new products that I haven't tried yet. I do have some more foundations that are at the top. Um, and I have a variety of colors of them. Um, I just purchase them when they're on sale. Any event um, that I have a client or I'm, excuse me, or I'm applying makeup to someone else. And then I have some additional powders under there. And then there's a bin that's on my desk currently that just has new products that I have not put away yet. So I did purchase the Sonic Boom palette from, um, it's from ColourPop, but I purchased it from Ulta. It was on sale. I have some Juvia's Place foundations and concealers there. I do have some Essence camouflage concealers and then i have some revolution concealers and a foundation that i need to put away these are some new brushes um, by moda and i purchased these from tj maxx for 7.99 i have a white pumpkin candle from bath and body works that's currently lit this container houses my um eyebrow pencils, eyeliners, and then these are actually um, matte lipsticks. They are too long to fit in the storage that I have over there for my lipsticks and lip glosses. This chair was purchased for me from Amazon. Underneath here, I just have some plastic containers that are also Beano. Um, I have some facial items, some hair products. I have a storage box and my smaller ring light underneath. I also have an additional or a smaller mirror. 
and that mirror was purchased from TJ Maxx. It is an Impressions vanity mirror. I paid $16.99 for it, I think. Underneath there are some more contain storage containers that are just not in use as of now. I have a little um, garbage can. And then down here, I have a bin that houses additional hair products. This black bucket is where I put store my dirty brushes once I use them. I have a water bottle. And then I just have a tower that houses my cotton rounds and alcohol pads. And I think that is all. If you have any questions, comments, um, or tips, please leave them below. I thank you for watching my channel and hope that you will return. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that you enjoy the remainder of your day and happy holidays.